بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد It's important for us to have some understanding. What about the person who dies and they uh, they haven't finished completing their fast that they were supposed to make up? What is the hukum regarding that and what, what should be done? عن عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من مات وعليه صيام صام عنه وليه رواه بخاري ومسلم عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that whoever dies and they had fasting that they needed to make up then their guardian should make up the fasting for them and this was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim in this hadith the ulama make it clear also the guardian refers to those people so if uh, for example a man generally he doesn't have a guardian so to speak but it should be those people from amongst his um, from amongst his those people who wareth or his, those people who inherit from him or he inherits from that they should uh, they should make up the fasting on his behalf if this person did not complete their fast that they needed to make up what we learn from this hadith as Sheikh Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala mentions and we won't get into the differences of the opinion of the ulama in this hadith. We'll just stick with some of the basic benefits. As what we learn, he says, the hadith, the apparent meaning of this hadith is that it's an obligation for someone to make up the fasting on behalf of the person who died and was unable to complete their fast or make up the fast that they owed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is regardless of whatever fast that was a, from the fast that were obligatory like Ramadan or the fast of Nadr, you know, of making a, 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 an oath or a, a swearing to do to an act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the person needed to make, uh, make up that. So regardless of whether it was that, of whether, regardless of the fast that needed to be made up, that he said the apparent meaning of the hadith is that it's an obligation that someone makes it up. The second point he mentions is he mentions, as we already had uh, made ishara to, is that the wali here refers to the person who is who inherits from this individual and that's who would make it up so it wouldn't be just one of your friends fasting on your behalf or something but this obligation if it were to be an obligation is upon those people who are who inherit from you and one of the things Sheikh um, Sheikh Abdullah Hajar, Hafizullah Ta'ala, may Allah preserve him. Our Sheikh, who, who we went over this, uh, studied this book with, he said, Hafizullah Ta'ala, that a Sahih is that it's Mustahab, is that it is recommended, it is not an obligation for those people who inherit to make up this fast because no one else can carry the sin 
for someone else. So meaning that it wouldn't be a sin on your people who inherit from you to make up this fast if they did not do this on your behalf. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And this is in accordance with the Jamahir ulama, meaning the majority of the ulama say that it is not an obligation for them to make up this fast upon you, but that is recommended with only the Zahiriya saying otherwise, saying that it is an actual obligation to make this up. And those are just some of the benefits of that hadith and the importance of making up the fast on behalf of others that it is recommended to do so and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam